Fellas, fellas, before I start this video, go check out GTA.com. If you want to get cheap games, I advise you to go check out GTA.com and get you some uh, games for Steam, for PC, uh, for PS4, for Xbox, whatever the console, get it. Uh, I think it's a great website. And uh, I have a link below in the comment section. Just click on that link and it'll take you right to the website. Uh, and now on to the video. He had a very good fight that gave me a lot of trouble doing what I wanted to do. The Mew Toad 98.5 FM. He won the fight. But we're going back to the gym to work on things. So that things like that do not happen again. He often gives me trouble, said Lemieux. I was not ready to give my version of what happened in the fight. Before thinking about it. After thinking about it, I wrote it. On Facebook. We worked hard in the gym to counter his game plan. He has a good strategy for using his feet. For me, when I get in the ring, it's to give it a good show. Sanders, he puts on the skates to do everything by backing up and running. It's an injury that's been around for a long time. I managed it during my training camp. But in the ring, you'll hurt yourself even more. I was not comfortable throwing shots after the second round. It's limited me a lot. If he had to choose a rematch between Sanders and Gennady Golovkin, then Mew would prefer to find Gennady despite the defeat by TKO in the eighth round. I will not have to run after him like I did uh, against Sanders. Lemieux intends to take vacation before regrouping in 2018 when he set out to conquer a world title. I cannot wait to prove to myself that I have the tools to beat Golovkin, Canelo Alvarez, and Sanders, said Lemieux. So as you can see, David Lemieux has said a lot of things. First of all, he is not discouraged for after this humiliating uh, schooling that he received on the hands of Billy Joe Sanders. As you can see, he says that uh, Billy Joe Sanders is a runner. Once again, he calls him a runner. He says that uh, he puts on the skates and he runs. But he admits that he won. You know, I'm glad he at least admitted that he won. That Billy Joe Sanders won. Because, you know, sometimes fighters they say this and then they, they 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 keep saying that the guy lost i mean they then they they try to say stuff like he he won but david lemieux admits that he he was the loser of the fight so that's that's a step in the right direction uh but then he says that he could probably beat that he wants billy joe sanders and Gennady golovkin in the rematch next year uh, I don't see him being... No First of all, he's never going to get Gennady Golovkin rematch. Gennady Golovkin's going to retire. Because Gennady Golovkin, next year when he fights and loses, or if he manages to miraculously beat Canelo Alvarez, he's going to retire. He's not going to unify if he wins the belts. He's not going to unify with uh, Billy Joe Sanders. He's going to duck Billy Joe Sanders and he's going to retire. Uh, so he's never going to get the Gennady Golovkin fight. And... He doesn't even deserve the Gennady Golovkin fight because he he lost every single round in that fight. That was a complete mismatch. So he won't ever beat Gennady Golovkin. He could forget that. And uh, then he says he wants the Billy Joe Sanders rematch. Um, just like Gennady Golovkin, he lost every single round. I thought Billy Joe Sanders did a better job. You know, he, he said that he wants Gen Golovkin because Golovkin... He knows that Golovkin's not going to be running after him. I mean, he's the, he knows that against Golovkin, he won't be having to chase him. Yeah, well, even with you not having to chase him out of Golovkin, you still lost every single round. You got beat up. Golovkin beat him up. He dominated him with his jab. Uh, David Lemieux couldn't get past Golovkin's jab. And he was a, he looked like a broken man in there against Gennady Golovkin. So, even if a guy's standing right in front of him, if the guy is better technically... Like Gennady Golovkin was against him that night. That guy could school him. So. 
what 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 has changed since then? He, he's still the same fighter, and the and the same thing goes with with Billy Joe Sanders. Even if he fights him in a rematch, he doesn't know how to cut the ring off. You know, he's he admitted himself that uh, Billy Joe Sanders uses his foot, he's his feet really well. You know, well that's why you have to learn how to cut the ring off. But he's so slow. Uh, he's so slow. So